What's up, YouTube? My name is Nick, otherwise known as Clickwid, and I want to welcome you to my very first Road to the Show creation on MLB The Show 13. Uh, I know what you guys are thinking. Dude, this game came out like a year ago, and you're right, it did. Uh, but honestly, even though it came out in early 2013 and we're almost into 2014, uh, this is still the very best sports game on the market today, in my opinion. Um, I wanted to create a Road to the Show with a pitcher. This is the first guy that I've created in this game and uh, having a lot of fun with it already but I wanted to show you guys kind of the creation of how he came about you know with the pitches that I decided to use you're going to see here I used a four seam fastball a change up and a curveball and the reason I chose those pitches is because I wanted to kind of create somebody that would have just kind of some basic uh, starting pitches but um, you're going to see I switched this to the 12 6 curve I just have found that it gets more swings and misses than the regular curve. But let's get into the actual creation of the player. So uh, the first thing that we're going to start with is the name. And the name that I went with for my create a player is something that you might be familiar with if you watched movies in the late 80s or the early 90s. And uh, you'll see it pop up here. Last name, Vaughn. First name, Rick. The Wild Thing. And you guys might be familiar with that if you watched the uh, Major League movies. And uh, they were comedy movies, uh, like I said, in the late 80s and uh, the early 90s. Uh, Rick Vaughn was played by Charlie Sheen, who later went on to go on a bunch of coke binges and bang a bunch of whores. But uh, at the time, he was just kind of known as a pretty funny comedian in the movie scene. And uh, he was really known for a very hyper-fast fastball but unfortunately, he also had pretty much no control. Um, number 99 is what he wore when he was a member of the Indians in those movies. So I tried to, uh, I tried to, you know, at least make it somewhat realistic when I was creating this player. Um, went with a standard skin tone and uh, the height, I think, made him 5'10", 195 pounds. Just, you know, he'd, he'd be a pretty small pitcher in the real world of baseball. Actually, 190 pounds, excuse me. Um, but yeah, he'd be pretty small in the real world of baseball. But in the movies, he just kind of looked like a normal guy. And uh, so that's kind of what you're going to see here. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on creating this player because I kind of find that although the the ways that you can edit your player in these games, um, baseball, football, every sport really is starting to get more customizable with the creative players. Um, but unless you really spend a whole lot of time on it, um, you know, the players don't really look that great. They just kind of look like normal guys. Um, and, you know, it's hard to make them look perfect unless you really go in and figure out the fine details on how to mess around with the jawbone structure and how to mess around with the mouth size and the eyebrow width and, you know, all these different types of things that you can do. If you're a rookie like me, you're better off just going with the pretty much the defaults. Um, but right here, those glasses, that's the thing that everybody remembers about Rick Vaughn. And uh, he did also wear long sleeves in the movies um, and these uh, these funny stirrup socks as uh, <laughs> as he wore in the movies as well. I think that he wore it in, on all of them, but I know at least in one scene he wore something very similar to those anyway. So up next is the ever-important delivery and I decided to go with Clayton Kershaw's delivery. And the reason that I did that was not because it really looks anything like Rick Vaughn's in the movies, but it's just one that I'm comfortable with. The timing on it's good for me, and um, I think it looks good. And I don't know, if somebody else has a better suggestion, I am definitely all ears, but I kind of liked how it looked anyway. The thing that I focused on here, you're going to see the fastball uh, velocity. That's what he's known for. Uh, 81 speed uh, right off the bat. Um, I don't know if that's not miles per hour. It says, you know, it's going to be 94 uh, miles per hour to start, which is awesome. Uh, guys at the double-A level are going to have no chance to hit that. So, you know, that's probably going to be the pitch that I lean on at that level, at least to to build up the other pitches that I'm going to be putting together, the changeup and the 12-6 curve. Uh, but for now, you know, got to focus on getting the hits down and, um, you know, the walk ratio down. But uh, we're going to be focusing on that fastball, I think, at the double-A level. With the rest of this stuff, I was pretty much just randomly assigning statistics because it doesn't really matter uh, that much at this level. We're going to be improving so much, and the hitting and all that kind of thing has absolutely no relevance to a pitcher. And I really just want to start playing, you know? 
instead of entering the draft, I'm just going to choose my team. And, you know, sometimes people like like it when other uh, creative players get drafted or whatever. But in this game, there's not really any presentation with it or anything. So it's not any, really anything special. And uh, what I wanted to do is just put him on the team that he was in in the movie. So he's going to be on the Cleveland Indians. And, uh, you know, that's going to be the team that he sticks with, hopefully, until he makes it to the show. Um, I know there's a lot of people that don't make it that whole way up to the show uh, with their character before they get traded. But that's what we're going to be hoping for. So we're going to start off on the, uh, I think we're going to start on the Akron Arrows as the AA franchise here. And I uh, just want to show you guys here my uh, user settings so you can see I'm on All-Star. Um, I do turn the API on just because I like to be able to see where the catcher suggests that I put the ball, but I barely ever listen to him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So there you have it, Rick the Wild Thing Vaughn. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below. If you'd be so kind to subscribe to my channel, I'd greatly appreciate that. The next video will be of our first game, so thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful people again soon.